All right, in this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about search engine alternatives. Uh, one of the primary ones a lot of people are using right now, uh, Google and Bing. Some people use Yahoo, but it's basically the same thing as Bing. But we'll get into that in this video. The biggest thing we want to talk about in this video is we want to talk about alternatives to using search engines like Bing and Google. And the reason why? For privacy. Now, here at Glitch Geeks, that, that's a big thing. It's a big concern that we have. And I, we feel that a lot of end users really don't get to see where their data is being used. And so I want to go over five search engine alternatives that you can use to protect your privacy. So let's get into it. All right, so first up, we've got DuckDuckGo. This is probably the most well-known alternative search engine, and it's mainly used for privacy. And this is the big reason why you know DuckDuckGo was pushed so much. Uh, search engines like Google, they curate your data, which which is to say they take the data from the end user, from you guys, okay, and they take that, they put it into a big machine, and they try to figure out uh, what websites are legit, what websites are bad. That's what kind of makes Google's uh, search results so good as to knowing what you're searching for because they take all that data and they, they combine it together. Unfortunately though, that means they're saving your search searches. So at any point in time, um, if, if there was a subpoena, uh, you know, the, the, the government could come in and they could, they could pull all of your searches. And this is a huge fear that a lot of people have is they don't really, they don't really know how they feel if they feel too comfortable with knowing that their searches they do on the internet, they would assume would be anonymous aren't. So DuckDuckGo is probably the best place where people end up switching to because they want to keep their searches anonymous. And DuckDuckGo is really good at keeping everything in the clear. Now, when you actually go to their page, you can you can you can tell right from the get go it's it's no different than a Google page. It's extremely clean. There's no ads or anything like that. And what you also notice too, now you can actually click here on the anonymous. There's a little video here if you'd like to watch it that'll actually take you through why uh, they're anonymous and how they don't keep any logs and stuff like that. You can also see too, they've been mentioned by numerous companies. Uh, so this is definitely something that, this this website has actually been around for a really long time now uh, and they've, they've worked really well. Now just to kind of give you guys a look to see what search would be like, if I want to search for Facebook, you're going to notice it looks almost identical to any other search. You're going to get the top up here which is just kind of giving you the overview, some wiki articles and whatnot you're gonna get a sponsored link search uh, right here which is the same thing Google does and then you're gonna have your your official page right here which will be the same no matter what so that's DuckDuckGo and on to the next one All right the next one we've got is ixquick ixquick.com now this one is really interesting because this one follows the same kind of guidelines as DuckDuckGo keeps no information doesn't track your cookies your IP address nothing but What's special about this one is this one actually returns you uh, searches through Google. So let's just do it really quick. We'll just type in uh, we'll just type in Facebook, and what you'll notice is what's going to come back. It, it, IX Quick is actually taking your your search, throwing it at Google. Google's generating this information back. So this is an identical uh, Google search. The only difference is your IP address is not being tracked, your cookies are not being followed, and it's not going, it's not being logged inside of your, your uh, Google account or anything like that. So if you're looking for an alternative to, uh, you know, to Google, and you want, you want something that's going to still give you the same results as Google, but not track you, this is probably the next best thing. Um, w you know, I don't think it's nearly, I don't think it's nearly as good as DuckDuckGo when it comes to privacy settings, just because DuckDuckGo has been around for a while now, so we kind of know a lot more about it than this one. But at the same time, though, this one from, from our testing that we've been doing so far, this one is giving much closer results to Google since it pretty much is Google results. So, next all right. One. Now, we've also got a page called Start Page. Now, this is actually made by the other company, IX Quick. So, so essentially what this is doing now, same privacy settings and everything else, so you don't need to worry about cookies, tracking, IP addresses, all that, but... The reason why this one is a little different is because they've changed the algorithm or the way that they display search results. So this one just gives you just a little different search result when you actually go through and search some stuff. Now if you actually look at it, uh, we'll kind of take you through and show you. The front of the page looks almost identical to all these other ones that we've showed you thus far. Really clean. And then when we actually make a search, you can see it's giving us back. In this particular situation, it's going to give us back pretty much the same search results. We're not really searching anything too complex. You guys will have to go out and kind of use it and play with it to see. But the reason why I'm putting this in here is because you never know uh, when you're going to want a different algorithm when it comes to search results. Searching the web can sometimes be really difficult depending on what you're searching for. 
and it always helps to have another page, even if it's by the same company. If the search results are set up differently, who knows, you might be able to find it using this page instead of the other one. So just another one to throw in the bag. So that's uh, startpage.com, and once again, you'll be able to get all of this information, all of the links down in the details. All right, the next one we've got is Bleco. Now this is one that um, it's definitely not on the same page when it comes to privacy stuff, uh, you know, like DuckDuckGo and IXQuick, but it's still an alternative to using, you know, Bing and Google. Now in this one, the way that this one works, let's just do a search really quick so you guys can kind of see it, but just from the get-go you can tell it's got the same the same look and feel on the home page, so it's not cluttered down by, by much or anything. But doing a search really quick, now what you notice is a, there's a few things that we noticed right from the get-go that we definitely were kind of hesitant on, and that's one, um, it already shows us our location. Now although that's great in some circumstances, in this particular one we don't want that. If it's showing us our location, then we know it's capturing our IP address and our information, and that's already kind of a red flag when we're, when we're doing privacy concerns on search engines. Now what makes this one uh, a little different is that it does collect your personal information but uh, at the same token, it deletes it within 48 hours. Uh, compared to Google, they d don't delete your information. Uh, I believe it's up to nine months. I'm pretty sure it's nine months. So, you know, 48 hours is good. It's a lot better than nine months. Uh, but at, on the same token, you know, it, it's just kind of all what you, what you're wanting out of it. So you kind of have to compare them yourself. But uh, when it comes to search results, we're looking at, we're getting pretty much the same search results we were with uh, with IX quick uh, it looks like it's pretty much giving us back exactly what Google would so in that token it works really really well um, and you know if you're okay with you know if you're okay with them having your data for 48 hours then just removing it then this is another one to go to right and the last one I got for you guys is the ass page and and believe it or not the ask page is it's really not that bad the the biggest reason why i'm putting this in here is because most of you guys probably already know about ask uh it definitely is not where it used to be in popularity now but at the same time uh you know they've added a pretty neat feature in here that allows you to erase your data so just to kind of give you an overview really quick of what it looks like um, you've got the, the main page. You do have a little bit more going on than all the other pages. There is stuff happening. Um, and if you type in Facebook, then you'll see um, our search results are for the most part about the same. Uh, this is the actual, you know, this is where we're actually wanting to go right here. Um, but you can see it's just more stuff. It's, I feel like it's a little bit more cluttered. There's way more stuff going on. And it does still track your information. But that brings us to the actual reason why I'm listing it on here is because it actually has a an eraser. Um, now, I once again, this still comes down to personal preference. I mean, you guys have to decide if having just a an, an, an ASCII eraser is, is enough or if you want to use the other services that don't track anything. But I just want to put it in here because it's another option. And, you know, at least ASK gives you guys the option to actually erase your, your searches. So that's, that's still something you got to give them props for that. Um, other than that, yeah, that, that's pretty right, much guys, it. That's up. it for this video. This video was all about the five alternatives that you guys can use when it comes to search engines if you guys are concerned about your privacy. Now, hopefully, we've covered enough for you guys if you guys want to go more in depth or if you guys have more questions about how these search engines track your information or why they track it or anything of those concerns, please let us know in the comments below. We love talking about that stuff. Security is our biggest thing here at Glitch Geeks, and we want to be able to let you guys know how it works and we can explain it so it's not all complex and convoluted so like comment su subscribe you guys know the deal just go ahead and leave it all below we love the feedback we love changing up our layout and our style if you guys don't like it you let us know until then see you next time